How you going? Lincoln here from Landfish TV. Catch zebrafish on bread down in the harbour over there, down at Portland. Super easy. Anyone can do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little bit bigger. Hopefully every drop we uh, upgrade in size because that'd be fantastic. Palm size. <laughs> oh, is this one a bit bigger? Oh, we are upgrading every single time. All you need is something like 10 pound leader. You don't even need that. You can even do it with a hand line. Like it's not real crazy hard fishing and a really small hook. Um, I think it was a size, oh, I don't know, size that small. <laughs> I'm not real great with hook sizes when they are jig heads. So it was a small, I just used a bait keeper uh, hook on there. Is that? Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, for their size, they definitely fight pretty well. That one's upgraded. Chunky fella. like that weather's rolling in, starts to rain. You know what? Stuff it, gonna keep fishing. It's unlike me to say that, especially when it comes to rain. Oh, that's a big one next to it. Oh, bugger. You can only just see these fish. Because the weather is um, so dark right now, it was nice and sunny all day. Then uh, as soon as I come out fishing, it starts to, Go pretty crappy. But don't come down to Portland much, so I am going to keep fishing and catch more fish. It's almost guaranteed fish here, but as soon as I change my target from salmon over to these fish, I've started catching some. Just really being flexible and. Uh, you know, trying to catch what's around, basically. Oh, I think that's a better one. He's fighting nice. Oh yeah, that is a better one. That is a good one. I'm gonna use a net for this one. go that's a nice one what did he be see i've got a rod ruler on here so it's just a measuring tape that you stick on your rod it'd be 29 tell you what that's not bad pretty happy with that it's the biggest one i've caught down here so far Well, it wasn't that a sweet release. I'm sure that is coming out really nicely on the camera with all this water on it. And the uh, microphone's probably going great as well. Fairly happy with that. That's my biggest one down here for this trip.
Oh, that might be another good one. Not bad, not bad. I'll tell you what, I left my net over here, didn't I? Spread out the burly a bit. Hopefully that spreads all the little fish out a bit. A big one comes in between, smacks this bait. Well, that's another not bad one, I think. Yeah, another not bad one. See how big this one is. Reckon it'll be about the same size as the other one. Yeah, it's 24 and a half. Yeah, chomp chomp. Yeah, mate. So, this is the mouth we're dealing with. Look at that, it's pretty small. And it's got some little sharp teeth on there that crunch away at things. So, I'm using these little hooks, picking these guys up with bread. Well, it took me like uh, five plastics and probably 10 minutes, but I got one of these fellas, finally. There's a bunch of them down there, there's some bigger ones as well. So, catch a few more of these. After they've bitten the tail off, I've just um, been bouncing this up and down, they're still taking it, so good times. Finally getting into some fish. High tide in the afternoon, that's when I had my success. Um, super easy after you, you've chucked your burly in and you've got your bait in one hand i'll just put a bread in my pocket probably not a good idea if your missus is uh you know doing your washing and washes your clothes and then you've got this dough in your pocket whoops sorry cynthia <laughs> but it's really easy to do after you've done your burly it's all fluttering down they're picking it off as it comes down and you're just doing your unweighted hook just drifting it down on top of that burly and as they're coming down and as it's coming down they're coming up and they're just smacking it you do have to try and sift through all the little fish and what i was doing is i was actually keeping my bait out of the water and spreading the burly out a bit not just in one spot so then the fish would be spread it and you can almost pick which fish you want but all the little fish still come up and smack it even if you try and get that big one so the bait will be coming here big one to be coming over to it and the little one will zoom in grab it and take off and then you've got a little fish this big not ideal but that's part of fishing you can't exactly pick exactly what you want all the time but overall zebra fish are great looking things i hadn't had much to do with them until i came down here to portland but they're a great little target and great for the family and i've heard they're really great eating too i released all the ones i caught because i'm not going to eat them but you know what, if you are going to eat one, as long as you stick to the restrictions, that's all good. Thanks for watching Lampfish TV. I hope you enjoyed the video.